Chula Vista City Council now has less than one month to fill former District 4 Council Member Andrea Cardenas' seat. Today, the council is going to take a big step towards replacing her. ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell joins us outside of council chambers. And Danny, this meeting tonight, they're going to kind of decide how this process will play out for the applicants. Good morning, Jared. That's right. They got us some details that they got to iron out later. Now I want to show you the agenda because it's right here outside council chambers and you can see item number 12. It says city council vacancy. They want to conduct interviews of applicants for potential appointments to the vacant district Four council seat. And we of course know that is referring to formal council member Andrea Cardenas. Now it also says that they need to discuss what uh, the date and time that they want to set these interviews up with the applicants and they also need to talk about what kind of questions are going to be asking the applicants. Now we got a chance to talk to Chula Vista residents during election week about what they're looking for in a city leader. I think change is always good and I think uh, accountability, you know, so um, just ensuring there's accountability across the board. There are eight applicants who are going to go through this interview process within the next few weeks because the deadline to fill Cardenas' seat is coming up soon. It's April 11th, and whoever is selected will be filling Cardenas' open seat just until this December. Former council member Cardenas resigned from her seat in mid-February, and then two weeks later, she pled guilty to two counts of felony grand theft for stealing COVID relief funds and putting it towards personal expenses. Plus, her brother is political consulting business. Now again, we want to stress that this appointment is different than what people voted for in the primary election earlier this month. Cesar Fernandez and Rudy Ramirez, they're the two runner ups and they're on the November ballot, but they are not among the eight applicants who are currently be being considered to fill Cardenas' seat for the time being. Live in Chula Vista, I'm Danny Miskell. I'll send it back to you guys.